Okay, right here is a 1989 Tiger Caterpillar 690B. Now before we go and get a closer look at this wheel dozer, let's talk a little bit about the dozer's history. Tiger Engineering Limited was formed in 1980. The company was based out of Western Australia. And with the assistance of Caterpillar Industrial Products, Tiger Engineering developed a design for their first large rubber tire wheel dozer, which was the 690A. The 690A was first introduced in 1981. It was based off the Caterpillar 992C wheel loader with a Tiger designed front frame. In 1985, Tiger released an upgraded 690B model as a replacement for the older 690A, which featured many improvements over the original unit, such as the standard torque converter from the Caterpillar 992C that was used in the 690A was replaced with a unit from the Caterpillar 773B off-road truck drivetrain. This improvement greatly improved the 690B's overall working abilities. Now, let's go and get a closer look at the 690B. The conversion kit for the Caterpillar 992C to convert over to the Tiger 690B consisted of a new front frame, which featured one solid push beam and heavy duty push arms with Caterpillar mountings, a new hydraulic system, lockup torque converter, and of course, a blade. On later models, the front blade and hydraulic system would be based off the Caterpillar D10N and later the D11R tractor. Three different blade sizes were offered for the 690B. A semi-U blade, which was rated at 24.4 cubic yard capacity, a coal U blade rated at 50 cubic yard capacity, and the blade that you see on the front of this 690B, which was the standard straight blade for the dozer. In the center of the push beam, you can see the single hydraulic cylinder to raise and lower the front dozer blade. This was later replaced with dual cylinders on newer units. Right here you can see where the two sections of the dozer are pinned together. And this is where the hydraulic steering is. One cylinder on each side to turn the dozer left or right. On the left side is a 300 gallon diesel fuel tank, which you can see right here. And on the opposite side sits a 143 gallon hydraulic oil reservoir tank. Let's go up on top of the 690B. Okay. Inside of this compartment, from here you can get a good view looking down at the big Caterpillar diesel engine that powers this dozer, which is a model 3412 turbocharged and after-cooled V12 diesel engine that produces 690 horsepower for this dozer. Up top you can see the air cleaner, and on the top of the hood you can see the air intake. As you can see, there is a lot of room up on the top deck of a 690 dozer. Inside of this compartment, 
This is to access the hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which you can see right down inside of there. Okay, underneath this big compartment, this allows the operator or mechanic to service the torque converter and hydraulic pumps. And from here you can get another good view looking down at the transmission on the 690B. Okay, let's go and check out the cab. Here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the 690B. Okay, out in front here you can see the gauges for the hydraulic oil temperature, torque converter temperature, the engine coolant temperature, and over here you can see warning lights to alert the operator if the machine is low on fuel or if anything else malfunctions on the machine. This hand lever that you see here on my right side controls all the functions of the dozer blade out in front to raise, float, hold, and lower it. This hand lever that you see here on my left side controls the transmission. You push forward to put the dozer in forward gear, in the center is neutral, and pull back to put the dozer in reverse. By twisting this hand lever allows the operator to select the gear that he would like the dozer to run in. This is in first gear, second, and third. And from here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a 690B. On the top of the engine house, you can see the two exhaust stacks and two air intakes. And all of these red canisters that you see right here are for the fire suppressant system. In 1993, Tiger upgraded the 690B to the new 690D model after the launch of the Caterpillar 992D wheel loader. The new 690D featured a front blade and hydraulic system that was based off the Caterpillar D10N tractor and also featured Caterpillar's STIC joystick steering system. The 690D became Tiger's best-selling wheel dozer. In 1996, Tiger once again upgraded the 690D to the new 790G model following the launch of the Caterpillar 992G wheel loader. The new 790G featured a front end that was based off the Caterpillar D11R tractor. Later on in 1997, Caterpillar acquired the property rights to design and manufacture the Tiger wheel dozers. And in early 1998, the former Tiger 790G was renumbered the Caterpillar 854G. And the overall operating weight of a 690B can range anywhere from 95 to 99 tons. But there she is a 1989 Tiger Caterpillar 690B.